hello guys welcome back to AppShift tutorial so in this video we're going to see about uh, to restrict views or any other functions based on their domains so in our previous video we saw about the text expressions using uh, is not blank and is blank and split function so in that one of our viewer asked about a doubt how to give access to a particular domains like uh, at gmail.com only for the gmail domains or their own personal company domains so in this we're going to see about how we can give uh, access or particular functionality to a particular domain users so for that we're going to use a function called uh, extract domains so it will uh, extract the list of email domains from that value so let's see a practical demo of this So here, um, what we can do is we can give the domain access to this view. So this is the admin product view. Actually, in the previous video, we have covered how to give uh, access to particular to the admin users using this expression. We can uh, already define the who are all admins in our database i can show you that so in this data users so we have created a users data table so in this uh, we have mentioned who are all admin so based on this we are restricting this view so now in this video we're going to restrict based on this domain value after at so for that we will use the same view in this show if what we can do is we are going to use this function called uh, extract domains and if so this one extract domains so just copy this and uh, extract domains what we can do is use the main so it will give the value of at the uh, gmail.com sorry only gmail.com at won't come so this extract domain will give gmail this if extract domain equal to gmail.com okay. we for the testing purpose we're going to give abc dot okay Yes. If it said gmail.com means I say we don't need to use if also because this is a sum of condition directly. So if extract domains user email is gmail.com means we are giving we are showing this view. Okay. Cannot compare this with text. Okay. So yeah. So it will extract the list of email domains from directional line. So what we have to do is we have to convert this list into any one, any text. Okay. So now this function will give a list of values. So basically this user email is only one email so only one output will come but the outcome is list we need to convert this list into a text value using the in function so if it's a gmail means we are going to show this main product view. okay so now let's save this let's save it here So this is logged in as at gmail.com. So the admin product view will come here automatically. Now we can try any other domain like uh, abc.com. And I'm applying. See, the restricted view is gone. I mean, this admin view is gone. 
and that means if you search in the domain value with the gmail.com it will show up here so in the admin product you will show me like this you can use this extract domain and give access to a particular domain users okay so thanks for watching if you have any doubts just put a comments below and if you like this app share and subscribe thanks for watching